As we come to this end of the series of series three here of the books to change your life, I want to finish on Mindsets by Carol Dweck. Change the way you think to fulfill your potential. I think all of us have far more potential than we have ever imagined. I know that um, from a person outside looking in, they may say, well, Marcus is fairly successful or Marcus is this. Um, I know some people say that I'm uh, smart or gifted or talented and I want to share with you a very very simple principle um, to dismiss that my academic results at school weren't great my skills as a sports person not great I was your typical average person other than the fact I was suspended more times than kids turned up to school my parents did not know what to do with me um, Half of the time they were like, oh, I still remember dad coming to the principal's office one time to pick me up and he refused to take me home and told the principal, get, he t said to the principal, get your act together because he behaves himself at home. Dad, love you, up in heaven. I was scared, so I behaved myself because I was scared because um, I wouldn't step a foot out of home because you got in trouble at home, so I misbehaved at school. But he said to the principal, Mar um, Marcus behaves at home, so you better do your job here so he behaves here. And then... I'm not taking it with him, he's your problem, and walked out. So that was me in year 10. I remember that in, um, in year 10. Getting suspended a lot, getting in trouble a lot, not academically strong, not sportingly strong. So what I do is I represent hope for every parent whose child is a bit misadventurous, and I represent hope for every person who says, oh, I'm just not smart enough, I'm not like all the A students, or I'm not good enough, I'm not like all the natural athletes. Um, you can actually become more, change the way you think to fulfill your potential. If there is anything that I did differently, and all of these videos now I've recorded, I believe 33, this is the last video, I'm not going to record any more on books to change your life. 33 is enough. They're the books I've read over the, you know, I've read hundreds and hundreds, but they were the ones that are most impactful. And the reason I finished this is, with this is, it's your mindset. If there is anything that I had, it's that I had a, always had a growth mindset. And Carol Dweck in this book talks about two mindsets, the closed mindset or the growth mindset. The closed mindset says, I'm as good as I'm ever going to be. I've got, I was gifted this intelligence. I was gifted this body and therefore this physicality, this sporting prowess, or I was gifted with musical talent or ability or the ability to speak and to write. And people go, well, oh, no, Marcus is obviously a gifted speaker. No, when I was 15, I used to swear and... My parents would say, I don't understand a word you're saying, Marcus. I'd mumble all the time. So who I am now is not who I was 30, 40 years ago. Who I am today is a byproduct of the books that I've read, the audio books I've listened to, the courses that I've gone to, the decisions that I have made, my willingness to grow, to learn, to implement, to apply, to become as close as the best version of myself that I can possibly be because I had a growth mindset. The closed mindset says, oh, I can't be any better than I am. And this book awakens you to put the tent the, to the reality that there are those two mindsets. And if you're closed mindset, you are putting a lid on your potential. If you then determine I'm going to have an open mindset, I'm going to avail myself to the knowledge that is out there, the opportunities that are out there, and then I'm going to change my mind so I can change my potential. You can become the best version of yourself. You can grow, you can learn, you can become more. Your life can be extraordinary next year as compared to what it is this year. And decades from now, you can have all the things that you want, desire, and dream of by opening up your mindset and acting on that mindset through the potentiation of the actions and behaviors that result in the outcomes that you desire. So read, it'll improve your vocabulary. Read, it'll give you new tools, skills, and resources. Read, it will give you the opportunity to live your best life. I love reading. I encourage you to read. And I finish with this very simple statement. I believe it was Helen Keller that said um, words to the effect that the blind person is better. The blind person who cannot read is better off than the seeing person who does not read. And that means there is a lazy generation of non-readers out there not availing yourself to the information. It's limiting you, your quality of life, and the opportunities you have. Grow into your greater self. Reading does that. I wish you all the best with the books that I've shared here and any other books that you read for the life that you create. Thank you.